action. Action. Crushes Movies Action Collection. This time, it's Richard Norton. And Ted the Sailor. Hey, I'm a wind sailing. Who's Richard Norton, by the way? Huh? Well, that's what we have to find out, don't we? Uh, I don't even know who he is. Oh, a heck a blue hair. He's Richard Norton. Who the heck is that? Okay, we'll find out then. Yes, we're going to find out now, shortly. Oh, for most people, Richard Norton is mainly co-starring in a lot of Cynthia Rock Rock movies, which we do own all of those movies, I believe, the co-star with Rock Rock. Including the mystery one, we just solved the mystery of the Jungle Heat movie, which do not exist. The only Jungle Heat movie I know of is the one with Sam James from Flash Gordon. Ross Rock and Richard Norton one do not exist. So where the movie internet database get that one from? They made it up or something. I know they did a lot of films together, but there we go. That was not one of them. Anyway, let's move on now. He's co-star alongside Chuck Norris in his early career in The Octagon. Richard Norton had a small part in Chuck Norris's movie, The Octagon. So that's how you pronounce it. And then Richard Norton went back for more Chuck Norris. Well, I've done a movie in between, but this one we mentioned here. In Forced Vengeance. It's been a while since I watched Forced Vengeance, so I can't remember anything about Forced Vengeance. Same with the movie Octagon. I can't really remember anything about those two Chuck Norris films as I had Richard Norton in it. I didn't know he was in it till now. <laughs> and then we have... Well, later on in his career, he did go back to Chuck Norris in the Creek series, Walker, Texas Ranger. Some people love it, some people hate it. But Richard Norton turned out in eight episodes of Walker, Texas Ranger. There's a lot of people with Chuck Norris. But, well, eight episodes of Walker, The Octagon, and Force Vengeance. That's a few times, that's ten times the actor with Chuck Norris. Hmm, that's the record so far. But now we have more starring roles in Force 5. Or Force 5. Force 5, Force 5, what do you call it? So I think it's Benny the Jet. In this movie, Force 5. Martial arts action movie. Which, funny enough, made it on Blu ray, which is quite shocking. The only movie like this on Blu ray. That's shocking. Co-star alongside Michael Dudikoff in Cannon's American Ninja. You're featured in the first American Ninja, which I can vaguely remember seeing him in it. You must have a blink and you miss cameo. And it did then have more of a starring role as a villain. As the main villain in the movie Gymnastica, which unfortunately the main star, Kurt, I believe his name was, Kurt something. Kurt Thomas, that's it. Kurt Thomas recently passed away a few months back. So sadly, he passed away to Kurt Thomas. But I think this one, at one point, was still available on Amazon Prime. I definitely did have a DVD at one point in this movie, Gymnastica. I should have never sold it because it's a darn good underrated action martial arts movie. Gymnastica, Kurt Thomas, and Richard Norton as your main villain. I still have this VHS tape, though, which is in better days. And it's really battered up. I don't mention these my here. I know one of my viewers doesn't like these much, but I don't mention them here up the way. Backups to Cynthia Ross and Richard Norton's films, The Magic Crystal and 24 Hours to Midnight. I believe something in The Magic Crystal. And, and in the movie, uh, Richard Norton and so, uh, Sword of the Bushido. Just on his own with that movie. And he's in one of Michael Tudikoff's movie, Sadistic Command. Oh, Summing Command, I can't read the other word. He's in those movies. Stars alongside Ross Rock in this one. In the Magic Kit, and the, the Magic Crystal, I should say. The Magic Crystal, this one is. He stars alongside Cynthia Ross Rock. I believe Richard Norton. I'm not quite sure, but I think he's the villain in this one. I can't vaguely remember that film, but he also turns up. I know he's a villain in this movie. 
Eyes of the Dragon, also better known as. Oh, damn, what's it called now? Uh, fight to one or fist to one or something with the boy in it, it's fist to one, something like that. Should have brought the alternative title down, really, but he's in this movie. Fight to one, fist to one, also Eyes of the Dragon, he's in this one. Is there any rules of rough rock? More starring in all the lead in this one, Equalizer 2000. Another one, surprisingly made on Blu-ray, of the James uh, Roger Corman film. That should be a barrel of good fun. I'll have to watch this one again at one point. I remember I was on VHS at one time and a backup. But I got rid of them quite recently and now I'll upgrade the Blu-ray. Equalizer 2000. A really good Richard Norton action film. I only ever watched that once. Yeah, not another mistake, which is a war movie. This one, which is not an old soldier. And we have Kick Fighter. We did own the return of the Kick Fighter, which was Mission Terminal or something known as. I did have the VHS tape with that for the longest darn time. And unfortunately now I no longer own it, so I'm really disappointed in myself. Got rid of that one. I should have really kept that one. Not realising at the time I got rid of it. More likely the same time as I got rid of Equalizer. Damn, I had to that one. That's a bad decision. Anyway, let's continue on. You have him in Hyperspace, in the Space Type movie. Vaguely remember that film. I only ever watched it once. And it's on this double DVD I got my first sci fi movies. It starts with Roth Rock again in this one. China O'Brien, what a film this is. China O'Brien, seems to be Roth Rock, Keith Cook, and Richard Norton. A great trio, a great action trio. I love to see again. Even Simply Rock Rock said himself, as well as Richard Norton in the interviews of Scott Atkins Art of Action Channel. So you need to do a China O'Brien free. Come on, make it happen. Make it happen. Come on, Simply Rock Rock, Richard Norton, Keith Cook, bring it right. China O'Brien free. Let's make it happen. We got China O'Brien here. And then we got China O'Brien 2. Which is more budget release, but there you go. It's the only way you can get China O'Brien 2. Or DVD. But here we go. Let's make it happen though. Let's get a China O'Brien free campaign going. We have the Sword of the Bushido. Which are not in the Samurai type swordsman movie. It's in an action DVD, this one. An old release. Get back with the Roth Rock in this one. Can't remember his role in this one. Is Lady Dragon met and own? And this Fallen release I have of it. The longest time I only ever had this film on VHS and still do, funnily enough. We'll I'll talk about those a bit later at the end of the video. We have Raiders of the Sun. Which I can't remember vaguely anything about this movie. Raiders of the Sun. Remember, remember, remember this one? Sars of Bolo Young in Ironheart. No, not Blood Fight, but I, Bolo's in that one. He's in Ironheart with Bolo Young of uh, Blood Sport fame. And he stars on Offline Roth Rock with Roth Rock again in another great movie series, Rage of Honor. Let's make a Rage of Honor free campaign, shall we, as well? Rage of Honor. I also have this course, I gotta have it. Rage of Honor 2, which Richard Norton's featured on the cover. Hostile Takeover. Rage of Honor. I have not watched them for the longest time, but I'm sure they're pretty good action. It's Richard Norton and Roth Rock when they get together, and they are being movie gold, you could say. I'm a cute cut as well with them, and Shane O'Brien is even better. Now he starred with Jackie Chan in a movie still yet to watch City Hunter. Starts with Jackie Chan and. Gary Daniels in this one. Cine Hunter. Got starred in this movie. So you have two of. Direct hit. So anybody needs a direct hit with this movie of Richard Norton? Let me know. It's free to a good home if somebody wants it. A budget release, so I'll give it away for a Richard Norton fan. Cyber Tracker. It stars alongside Don the Dragon Wilson for the first time. Cyber Tracker, the first movie of the Cyber Tracker series. There's two of them. I do own the second one. 
We have Duff, Tough and Deadly of a Rowdy Rowdy Paper, the late great Rowdy one, Benny Blank of Table Workout, at TC2000 and Showdown. Richard Norton's in there somewhere. Tough and Deadly. Something under the gun. More later films here, under the gun. I remember watching that once. Starring with Dudikoff in Black Thunder, one of two films he did with Dudikoff. Black Thunder and Sadistic Command, we saw earlier, on a backup. So I was in this movie, I can't read the title, so don't ask me. But it's a sci-fi movie, I believe, I can vaguely remember anything about it. So we on the Dragon Wilson, Cynthia Rothrock, Flash Gordon, Sam James. Uh, Chris Penn and a whole host of others in this one. Redemp? I can't even pronounce the name. I can't read it, so we're not going to pronounce it. The stars in this film, which was pretty damn good, apart from one scene. I'm not going to spoil it, though, if you've not seen it. I did have a double of that at one point, too. The stars of the villain in Roadhouse 2. Yes, the sequel to Roadhouse. Old Elks 2 and Richard Norman played a small part as one of the villains. Old Elks 2 with Jake Busey as one of the villains. And the last film I got of Richard Norton here, Dream Warrior. It stars one with uh, Lance Hedgerson. I pronounced his name wrong, didn't I? There we go. And speaking of. Uh, I think he turned up in a few martial arts documentaries. Uh, I think he may have turned up in that one. He also turned up in, I assume he's turned up in this one. In Cinema of Vengeance. Death of uh, Bruce Lee. Death by Misadventure. This is random name. I'm sure he may have talked up in. Uh, Yes, it's a Black Thunder, right? Isn't that one, of course? Mm. It may have turned up in the uh, documentary on this one. Or maybe that one, too. I'm not quite sure. They've not watched those docs for a long time. I do have two martial arts box sets, which I may auction off on eBay soon, so if something interesting in this one, martial arts box set, five movie pack. Yeah, undefeatable on the glory of Cynthia Rothrock. Richard Round 3, 1 down, 2 to go. Tough and Deadly, Richard Norton, Marty Pinkman, Billy Blanks, and Hero. We got this one, 12 Lethal Kicks. Which features movies, Best of the Best 1 and 2. Day of the Panther, Strike of the Panther, Swan of Justice. <laughs> Uh, Modern Warriors, movement, a martial art documentary, Gun X Cops 2, Out for Blood, Don Wilson, Rich, Ring of Fire, Free Don Wilson, Sword of Honor, Shoot Fighter, he's not Bolo Young in that one, and Red, Red something, uh, Red Scorpion, is it? I'm not sure. But those two may go on auction at some point. I also have this video. Best of the Martial Arts. Which you know, does pop up in this documentary. There he is, but there. They do mention Shane O'Brien in that one. <laughs> we have Cinema of Vengeance. Another Martial Arts movie. Martial Arts documentary. And another one by here. Moho Combat. Many blanks, Cynthia Rothrock, and in an interview with James Horn. Not sure when Richard Norton showed that, but the Power Rangers do. <laughs> <coughs> Lady Dragon VHS. Trainer O'Brien. Trainer O'Brien 2. Rage of Honor 2. Rage of Honor. That movie is actually Richard Norton directs. I believe our producer of Honor and Glory, which I also own on DVD, which I forgot to get out here actually. But he does produce that um, movie Honor and Glory, which I do have on DVD, or to see in the Rough Rock movie update. Which I may have to slowly push towards the next, maybe. But that's going to do it now for Richard Norton and a little bonus at the end. Thanks for watching.